I'm pleased to share this devotional with you today. There's been a lot of uh, talk in the news lately that has uh, stirred people up. You know, we've seen uh, people stirred up uh, after the passing of George Floyd. We've seen uh, different politicians uh, saying one thing or the other. And it seems as if uh, people are being stirred up uh, quite a bit uh, lately, and I'm sure that's been on your heart as it's been on my heart. I want to read a section of scripture today uh, that uh, might be a help for us as we think about uh, uh, maintaining peace, uh, how important it is uh, for us as Christians uh, to main maintain peace uh, one with another, and then also to be peacemakers uh, within society. So this is just one section, section among uh, many here uh, in the New Testament, uh, and I'm reading now from Ephesians chapter 4. Paul knew the Ephesians, he loved them, he wrote uh, to them this letter, uh, the first uh, three chapters, dealing about how great their salvation is, uh, that Jesus has paid uh, the price for their sins and given them the power of the Holy Spirit. Now as he turns to how a Christian should act, these are some of the very first things uh, that he shares in Ephesians chapter 4, where we read, I therefore the prisoner in the Lord beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. You know, certainly recognize all the numbers of one that have been a part of the latter part uh, of these, these uh, verses that I've read. One body, one spirit. Uh, uh, these are all true things. Uh, there is only one Lord, uh, and there is only uh, one faith and one baptism. Uh, but how do we maintain that oneness within the church is really the subject of the first three verses, where we're asked to act with humility with gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Those are things that we haven't seen in the news media lately. We've seen a lot of rage, we've seen a lot of anger, and I'm not suggesting that that's uh, uh, not directed to um, a good target, uh, but as Christians uh, we need to uh, move to some of these softer traits of being humble and gentle patient and bearing with one another in love. At least we need to do so in the church. And then as we read a little bit further in verse 3, um, Paul gives us this idea, make every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Making every effort to be peaceful, to be peaceable one with another. So I guess I leave you with a few questions today. How are you uh, doing at making peace? Are you able to make peace uh, with uh, brothers and sisters in the faith? Or are you all stirred up and uh, upset about one thing or another? If you're upset, let me encourage you to trust the Lord. There is one Lord, there is one faith, there is one baptism, uh, and that's the way that the church has been brought together. But be peaceful within the church. Be peaceful with your relationships in the family, with a brother or sister, with a mother or father, uh, with a son or daughter. That might involve some endurance. That might involve um, biting one's tongue at times uh, so that uh, one doesn't spew out uh, anger and upsetness. Try to make peace and it will go better for us all. Schwenkfelders have been known to be peaceful people. You know, we traveled uh, here to uh, this part of the world uh, to be peaceful people and to uh, have a conscience that could be more focused on our relationship with the Lord. I know that things uh, have stirred us up over these last uh, number of weeks uh, in society, but I'd like to encourage us all to think about being peaceful today, to toning down our conversations, to not spewing out anger, to being patient with one another, and also to bearing one another, uh, being uh, being able to bear with one another a little bit more. And I'm sure as we are patient, and gentle, and kind, then indeed our heavenly Father 
will uh, uh, look on us uh, with uh, blessing and peace too, and we will be called, uh, as uh, uh, our Savior had said years ago in the Beatitudes, sons of God. May God bless you today, praying for peace uh, for you and your relationships, as well as in the church and in our society. May God bless you.